tuko na babu wa wino karibu sana mheshimiwa asante sana jalas uh, sanitize yeah. sanitize babu uh, yeah. <laughs> This live is supported by Safaricom. Ili we watch for free. For you to watch this live for free, dial star 544 star 32 hash. I repeat for you to get your free bundles to watch this live, dial star 544 star 32 hash. Karibu sana mheshimiwa. Asante. Hii corona inakupeleka namna gani? <laughs> Hii corona mambo yake ni noma sana. Okay. Inatufanya tuwe katika nyumba ya manyumba <laughs> kutoka ni shida. Okay. Kuweka mask kila wakati. Yes. Na mask ni tofauti tofauti pia. Ehe. Kuna ile ya kama, ninja. Unaona una, 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 una kama hii. Kama hii ya yako. Hii yangu ni design. Hii yangu ni design. Na pia iko <laughs> washable. Iko washable. Unajua. Mheshimiwa. Labda mchapewa zingine huko Ministry of Health. Ah ah hii yangu ni ile unaona ile yangu ni kama ya ninja. Ya ninja. Bas unaivaa yote. Corona yezi ingia kwa masikio na yezi ingia kwa mdomo na mapona. <laughs> oh, sasa ile ya ninja inakuacha <laughs> macho peke yake. Inakuacha macho tu. Corona yezi ingia kwa masikio, kwa mapoa, mdomo. Mdomo. Na oh. macho pia unavaa shades kama hii. Eh kwani kwa hizo huko. Na ina kaya wa mama, hii ina kaya wa mama. Ni siri ya <laughs> Hii nilichukua ya bibi kidogo na oh, ni bibi. <laughs> okay, toa mask kidogo mm. na ndio ndio upate hewa kidogo. Eh, eh, toa 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 tu unajua wamesema okay. hii mambo ya kuiweka hapa kwa single pia. Si mzuri. Eh, ah. Hapa hapo. Hapa tume sanitize. Ah. Very good. Very good. <laughs> so corona imekufanya siku hizi unaingia nyumbani mapema. Unajua wewe ni mtu wa usiku. <laughs> usiku sako. <laughs> eh wewe ni usiku sako. Siku hizi unaenda nyumbani mapema. Siku hizi ni kuingia mapema. Uh-huh. By 6 mimi niko nyumbani. By 6 uko nyumbani. Hata bibi anafurahia sawa sawa. Bibi anafurahia sana. Alikuwa amekumiss. <laughs> Hakukuwa na nimiss juu kila siku ni, niko nyumbani. Lakini si unajua kazi inakuwa mingi umetoka constituency nini unafika nyumbani kama umelala. Kitu muhimu ni ya kwamba mimi na bibi yangu tunapendana sana. Muna so pendana. so wakati wa wote tunamisiana. Eh. So nikirudi jioni alikuwa ni miss the whole day. Eh. So tukipatana ni hapo. Ni hapo tu. Kazi inapangwa. Tialala. Tv mization. Thank you so much everybody eh. who is tuned in I'm telling you it is moving so so well. Eh, karibu sana watu wametuma maswali mingi sana eh, babu kuhusu jinsi tuko pamoja na jinsi unavyoishi na corona na jinsi kila kitu inaendelea. Mm. Question number one. I juzi nilikuwa nasoma tu. Ndio. Ukisema uko na diploma, uko na actual science. What are you? What is your profession? Uh, number one, jealous I'm, uh, I'm a Kenyan citizen. A Kenyan citizen. Born bred in Kenya, Nyalenda slums. <laughs> Uh, st- went for my uh, did my education at Central Primary School you know it in Central uh, in Kisumu uh, I cleared my primary school in 2001 class 8 2001 class, class 8. 8 yes uh-huh. in 2001 I scored 403 out of 500 marks 403 out of 500, 500 marks is 47 nini 97 zilienda wapi Hizo 97 nilikuwa nimewachewa na inji wengine. Washea kidogo. Unaweza share kidogo na wetu ndio. 2001 you are clearing your KCPE. My KCPE. Okay. Then 2002 I joined Kisumu Boys High School. Kisumu Boys. Yes. Uh, 2002 and 2. Hiyo imekupeleka paka hadi 2005. 2005 umemaliza did yes. my KCSE. KCSE. What yes. did you score in your A-min- KCSE? A minus. A minus of 78 points out of 84. 78. Yes. So ilikuwa ni kidogo tu. Ndio. Uingie ndani ya hata airplane hata mimi mimi ni product wa airplane that's why hapo mbeleni i'll tell you why i scored first class honors in actuarial okay the sir. reason so, is uh, when i was in uh, high school mm-hmm. i was doing uh, business at the same time i was learning so business of selling changa to raise school fee to pay for my fee so that i could uh, learn so ebu ni kulise nani alikuwa na usa changa mama ama wewe You know my mom used to be ailing from time to time. Oh, One time anapeleka hospitali, saa zingine ako admitted. So most Watu of the times, mwes, padisa sauti kidogo. 
So mom used to be ailing from time to time. So mm -hmm. at one point on Apelekwa in the hospital, and then with that now I used to I had to take responsibility for being the person who was selling changa in the house. Okay. When you sell changa, mm -hmm. you finish selling, you close business okay. from a, at around 3 a.m. Right. Because uh, you'll wait up to the last client to leave the house. All right. You will not want to send away your clients. All right. So with that, you start reading from 3 a.m. Okay. So you have, you have to read from 3 a.m. and again you have to sleep. All right. You have to wake up again, go and uh, bring stock because uh, changa, we used to bring stock in the morning and in the Evening. Late in the late at late night, so night. that you are not caught by the policemen. Okay. In the morning, they, in the morning they will not find you. At night, they will not also find you. Okay. So because of that uh, tedious work, okay. that is what led me to score the grade that I scored in uh, KCSE. So you are otherwise, an A plane student. Otherwise, otherwise, I'm an automatic A plane student. And any person who was at Kisumu Boys, mm -hmm. from form one to form four. Mm -hmm. There is no single day that I was out of top three, out of 303 students. Anyone who was my classmate can talk about it now. I, 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 I challenge anyone who was my classmate, my schoolmate at Kisumu Boys, stroke 05, to challenge me on that. They know, they are aware that Babu is a lethal brain. Lethal? From form one to form four. At form four, I used to teach my classmates. <laughs> I used to teach them mathematics, accounting, physics and chemistry. They can also attest to that. And they can come out and say that this man used to tell us, used to teach us this. Stroke, the class teacher, of 2005. 2005. Teachers used to come, they sit down. I, 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 I assume uh, the role of, I, I assume the role of a teacher. So you used to so teach the your whole teachers. syllabus, mm. the whole syllabus, mm. <laughs> I was teaching my, I was, my fellow students. And even teachers were aware of that. They are still aware that I used to do that. So wow. 2005, we, we finished KCSE. KCSE was 2005. Uh, two, 2005. From 2005, 2006. So where are be, because I scored uh, A minus. A minus. One thing that I always wanted to do in my life was uh, a law degree. Law. Law degree, although I was extremely good at mathematics. Okay. Then I got a scholarship. I applied okay. for a scholarship. I was called at Egerton University mm -hmm. to study business management. Okay. Then I said, no, this mm -hmm. is not my calling. Okay. Then I decided to come to Nairobi. My mm -hmm. first time to step in Nairobi was in 2007. 2007 you step in Nairobi? Yes, that is my first violence. time. That is my past, first time to step in Nairobi. So I came and stayed with my cousin at uh, Kabiria in Satellite. Kabiria. My, my cousin called John Omondi. John Omondi? Yes. Okay. So in the same 2007, mm -hmm. when I got a scholarship, I saw the scholarships were being advertised uh, in a newspaper. So when I saw the scholarship, made an application, and I was called at Millennium Academy to do A levels. A levels. The A levels that is the Cambridge system that is from five and from six. So you did from five and six. I did from five and from six. For how many years? For one and a half years. One and a half years. From 2007 yeah, yeah. to around 2008 uh, September. September. Yes. So 2008, you are still in school. So 2008, now that is 2007 to 2008, I scored distinction for the A-levels, the Cambridge system. Now, distinction is an equivalent to first class honors or an A. Okay at Millennium Academy. Millennium Academy is in Westlands. Westlands. Yes. Uh -huh. Now, from 2008, October, October, uh, I joined the University of Nairobi okay. to pursue actual science. All right. Okay. So actual science from 2008 to 2012. 2012. Yes. So 2012, did you graduate? I graduated first class honors actual science. 2012. 2012. Between 2008 to 2012, there was no strike. There was nothing. There were strikes, but they were manageable. Uh -huh. There were strikes that did uh, that led to uh, closure of the university, but not a long time closure of the university. So it did not affect. Short -term. So it did not affect your, the, the, the semesters. The semesters. Yes. Very good. So I I took exactly four years to graduate in my first degree. Okay. At this time, when were you Sony, Sonu, Sonu, chairman. Sonu chairman? At this point, first of all, in 2007, I was the student leader for Millennium Academy. <laughs> Meanwhile, in primary, I was the head, head boy. boy in primary. Then, 
Kisumu boys, I was a prefect throughout, from from one to from four. The but prefect who sells Changa. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Changa was my means of survival. This okay. is the only thing that I could do to put food on the table and to pay for my fees. Okay. Yeah. So in uh, 2010, in 2011, I became the Sonu chairman. 2010. 2011, 2012. That is in your second year now. Third year. Third year. Yes. Okay. Third year, 2011. Mm -hmm. Then 2012, December, I graduated. You graduated? Yes, in September, not December. Okay. Yes. So that does not give us this long leadership in Seoul. So after that, there was a break. Mm -hmm. I went to contest for a member of parliament uh, in Westlands. In Westlands, yeah. Yes, and uh, failed. You know, in politics, the end justifies the means. All right. So, so you fail. Which party were you running with? I was at. Uh, I was uh, going uh, in. Uh, I used ODM as a vehicle. Mm -hmm. Yes. But me. were you in the ballot papers as ODM candidate? Yes, but as uh, at the nomination stage. So you I did not proceed go past the that. nomination. Past the nomination, I didn't. I didn't proceed past the nomination. So who beat you during that time? Wanyonyi? Team, yes. Team Wanyonyi. Yes. That was the first time he was coming in. That was the first time he was coming in. Ah, okay. Yes. All right. So after that, I in twenty between t twenty thirteen, the same twenty thirteen after losing, I decided to enroll for my masters in actual science. So you went for your masters in twenty thirteen. Thirteen fourteen. Okay. Yes. Okay. Then in 2014, joined law school. Law school? Yeah, yes. Okay. Uh, law school, that is... A Parkland School of Law. Parkland University School of Nairobi. 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 Yes. Uh -huh. To pursue my degree in law. Okay. Yes. Then cleared my degree in law in 2017. 2017. Yes. This was another four years again after that. Four period. years. Now a so fresh they, one. So all this time, so you that, still... Within that four years, I became the chairman throughout. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is why people now are people always saying this say, man has been here. You've been here forever. Yes. Okay. All right. So you graduated uh, from the school of law in which year? Seventeen. Twenty seventeen. Yes. And twenty seventeen is also the time you are going for embarkasi. So now, before graduating uh, with my degree in law, I decided to defer one year okay. because the same same year in twenty seventeen. I was doing, uh, I, was do, I was campaigning. Campaigning. So it was not easy to mix uh, politics. And school. And uh, school. All right. Campaigning and school. So I decided to defer. Okay. Then when I was elected, I went back and finished. So you were campaign. in school and also as an MP? Yes. In fact, in 2017, when I was elected, I was still a student leader. Then I decided to resign after my election. So, so nobody beat parliament. you at Sonu. You yes. actually resigned. I resigned. I left it because I, was, uh, I wanted to give uh, I hear this, my this younger thing, brothers and I, sisters I an this, opportunity. This thing that you have try, you've been trying to push, mm -hmm. that an outsider can be a student leader, because <laughs> they see the <laughs> university better while outside than the students <laughs> who are inside. And I hear you want to be the MP of Embakasi and the student leader at Nairobi University. <laughs> you know, as a student leader, student leadership is meant for students. Okay. It's a preserve uh, of... Uh, of students. Of the students. Yes, only. Okay. Uh, any outsider who wants to be a student leader mm. only must be a student. Okay. First to be a student leader. Mm. Meanwhile, at, uh, for the A-levels, before you finish it, mm. for the A-levels, it was diploma courses. Mm -hmm. So there I did diploma in law, mm -hmm. did uh, diploma in pure maths, mm -hmm. diploma in accounting, mm -hmm. diploma in chemistry, Diploma in statistics and diploma in mechanics. How many diplomas do you have? Six diplomas. Six diplomas. Yes. How many degrees do you have? Now uh, I'm I'm pursuing my fourth degree. Fourth degree. Yes. How many masters do you have? Master. Now one master degree. Eh. Two degrees. Two undergraduate degrees. Okay. One master degree and eh. another master degree that I'm pursuing now. And six so diplomas. So two masters degree and two undergraduate degrees. Total of four degrees. But after Corona, I'm pursuing two more master's degrees. So I'll be having six degrees comprising of four master's degrees and two undergraduate degrees. Hey. <laughs> yeah. But, but, hey. Okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> this is too much for me to, you know, as a form four liver who is just in school right now, I feel very... But Very, you are you are, you are already at the university. I'm at the university now. At, uh, I was supposed to graduate. Yeah? I was supposed no, to day start. Hey, yes. I was supposed to graduate, but definitely because of the situation, Corona, we yes. are doing the online, mm. and they have been saying that we will graduate online. Yes. 
they should stop that rumors. Now you I must be you, seen you are, not, you are not a form for Liva. You I are you, you are comrade. <laughs> All right, thank you. Comrade power. Yes. Comrade Ria. <laughs> Before we go on, let's get the big elephant out of the room. Yes. Uh, if you can see, everybody is asking here. Do not go far before you talk about DJ Evolve. Yes. DJ Evolve. Three things I need to know mm. about DJ Evolve. Are you paying his hospital bills? Just, uh, I think, uh, number one, ask, ask the three questions that I just... No, no, no. no. Okay. Number one, are you paying DJ Evolve's bills? Yes, I'm doing that. I'm the one who's paying the bills. And in fact, as we speak, DJ Evolve has been discharged. He's just awaiting to be taken uh, very nice DJ Evolve has been discharged from the hospital he has been discharged yes he's okay. just uh, waiting to be taken home or waiting so, to be taken home so the problem the, the reason why he's not been taken home is because of the corona situation, corona situation. yeah things might be bad on yeah. the way or at home or <coughs> the interaction okay so that is what uh, the parents the family are working on still have you but been bills, talking to the family bills are, bills is proper we are in communication, and uh, Jalas, what I must uh, say, number one, there is no saint without a past. That's true. Number two, I would not like to dwell on my past so much, because uh, I can't change my past, but I can change my future. So I would like to talk about my future, what is going to happen in the foreseeable future. Then every other thing that happened is between me and God. And I chose to forgive myself. Ah, no, no. You see, yes. no, you can't choose to forgive yourself, Babu. You know, people are saying, eh? Mm. Everybody online is saying that you, you are Babu's friend. This mm. is why you are hosting him. Mm. All you are doing is to sanitize him. All you are doing is to make Babu look good. I'm mm. not here to make you look good, my friend. Mm -hmm. We are here to speak the truth and nothing but the truth, mm -hmm. but the truth. So, DJ Evolves bills, you are paying. Yes. And they've been paid. Yes. Okay, there's a time that... They, Heat are, 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 are very high. Yes. Up to almost 10 million. 15 now. 15 million. Yes. So you've been. Yes. You are in communication and you've been paid. Yes. That one you confirm. Yes. As you speak, DJ Evolve is not in the. He's just awaiting to go home. Yes. Because he's already been discharged. Yes. From okay. the ICU to from, the ward. Now from, from the, the ICU ward to the ward. home. Of, now from the ward to home. Yes. Okay. Wow. All right. Another thing I wanted to ask about DJ Evolve's case. There's mm -hmm. a time the court had said uh, that, oh, it is, the, it is not you to pay, mm -hmm. or it is just you are, if you are willing to pay, okay. you will pay. And uh, I don't know if you are willing or this that you've been paying. I think, uh, number one, this matter is uh, sub judice. Okay. It's a matter before a court of law. All right. And it ought not to be discussed okay. outside the precincts of the court. Okay. So as Babu Owino, on, on humanitarian or moral grounds, okay. I did uh, agree to settle the bill because number one, number two, DJ Evolve is a personal friend. Mm -hmm. So I settled the bills okay. as, as either a friend or as a, just as a friend. So is your friend? He's a very good friend of mine. DJ Evolve is a very and, good friend of yours. No man, no woman should come between us. No man or no woman should come between us. <laughs> so in this case, a woman came between. No, oh, no, 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 that is no, no, a story no, no, for no. another day. No, 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 no. There is no woman that came between us. Okay. And there is no man that came between us. I'm yeah. just saying as we speak now. No man. No man, no woman should discuss this issue. Should come between us in this matter. Everybody has their issues. Everybody has their cup. Uh, they are plate full of uh, things to be solved, challenges to be solved, normal life challenges to be solved. And no man is righteous before the living God. So let no man, let no man judge me. And I will not take it lightly. Okay. Yes. All right. So guys, everybody who's been asking about DJ Evolve's case, uh, Babu says that the bills have been paid. His condition is okay. And he's already been taken from the ICU to the ward. Now just word to home. He has just not gone home because of the situation that we're having. Mwishimewa, I thank you so much for clarifying that. Thank you. So Jesus. do we go on? Yes, yes. There's this road in Embakasi. <laughs> yes. There's this road in Embakasi. Yes. Called Feather Get B. Feather to Get B. Yes. You have adamantly refused, refused, totally refused to repair this road. Why? 
uh, Jalas, what I would like to tell my constituents is mm. that when they elected me, one of, my, one of the promises and one of the issues uh, that I was campaigning on was that I would work on the roads, I would work on water, I would work on sewerage and sanitation, mm -hmm. I would work on unemployment, I would, I would, I would, I would work, work on education also, Okay. among other things. Education being your key pillar. Being my I key pillar. I remember during the campaigns. Yes. Okay. So on this matter, every year, every financial year, there's a proposal that is, uh, that is uh, taken to either the carer, Kera, Kura, Kura, the national government and the Which county government. Which is something I still don't understand. Why we have so many bodies in charge of roads in yes. this country. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, all these bodies, once we do a proposal to them, mm. they choose to put or not to, to put, to put mm. as, a, as a matter of priority. Okay. The road between Feather to Get B was destroyed by the Chinese that were using a premise along the same road. To, to store their machinery. That is the heavy machines that they were using for construction of roads elsewhere, not even within Embakasi's constituency. How did we allow them? So, in the spirit of uh, being citizens of the world, <laughs> 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 so, I, uh, so it just had to happen mm -hmm. because that is where the government set, set up a place for them to use. Mm -hmm. So, the people of Embakasi, the people of uh, Embakasi constituency, and especially Embakasi ward, mm -hmm. and the Nyayo estate, together with Tasia estate, mm -hmm. kindly bear with me. This is what I want to but, tell you. This is what I want to tell no, you. No, don't tell that me. This road, I have one question. This You've road, been making other roads. You've made now, another road. This, 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 this is my roads. explanation. And you know very well that this is a road that has been on your head throughout. Before I came, no, no single road was done in Ebakasi's constituency by the former member of parliament. Mm -hmm. In fact, I got uh, 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 the, the crown of Ebakasi East constituency was in the dustbin. I'm saying the crown of Ebakasi East constituency, I found it in the dustbin because the former MP did nothing at all. Then I picked the crown and decided to wear it. When I wore the crown, I've been working from one road to the other. I've been working on matters employment. I've been working on matters table banking. I've been working on matters uh, education. By number one, constructing uh, schools that is going to start this year. It ought, to have, it ought to have kicked off. But because of the corona, there's some slight some delays. Day. But I'm constructing a school at Tasia, constructing a secondary school at Donham. And I've constructed classes in various areas. Can I give you water? Can I tell you water on water. If I if, before you, before you interject on water, I'm working on it. Piping has already been done in the whole of Embakasi's constituency, and a water reservoir has been constructed at Embakasi Garrison. Soon, water will be a problem of the past. There will be sufficient supply of water from Embakasi Garrison, the water reservoir, to all the other parts of Embakasi East constituency, and we are also working on the water tanks that will be distributed across various regions, various areas within Embakasi's constituency to act as a temporary solution for the provision of free water to the residents. So this road of Feathergate B, the people of Nyayo Estate, the people of Tasia, the people of Embakasi Ward, do bear with me. I apologize on, on your behalf. I'm going to work on this road. And I promise you that if I don't work on this road, don't vote for me. I'm going to work that on That is what it. I wanted to tell you. Yes. Because I've hosted you on radio. Yes. We are having this live. And this issue of Feather Get B keeps on coming in any forum we are together. Yes. And I know people of Embakasi, uh, that, that area, uh, the Nini, um, uh, Get B and Feather, mm. depend on this road so much and do everything possible. I want next time's campaign to be very light and very easy. Yes, yes. Just because of what you've done. Now, let's move very quickly. Food distribution, masks at uh, Embakasi, and why did you have your photos on the sanitizer? Thank you. Number one, to start with the issue of the, of the photos on the sanitizer, <laughs> is uh, so that the people that we entrust to do the distribution of these sanitizers and the people that receive the sanitizers may not to sell them oh. does not sell these things so it is for free so this thing is uh the sanitizers were meant to be for free free distribution so when you get it as jealous you don't need to sell it 
by the time you are going to sell it you love you love to be labor yourself you love to be labor yourself to remove the to remove the so it is written uh, uh, the your photo, photo is there yes. bubble we know not for sale not for sale uh -huh. yes how much sanitizers have you distributed so far no a total number of 8000 sanitizers are in place we we already moving from ward to ward from region to region mm -hmm. uh, at intervals of every 2 to 3 days in every area mm -hmm. that is on sanitizers on the matters of uh, matters food we've decided to do also do serious distribution of food in various areas i know some people are, are still saying that they've not been receiving the food uh, the food uh, sub, uh, food stuff but I've, uh, I've, I've done distribution across all the wards. In this food distribution, there is no discrimination. Because when we have challenges of food, I know what it, what, what, what it means to go without food. I know how it feels just to sleep hungry. Because I've been in that situation, taking into account where I was raised from, from the slums. I know when you tell me you are hungry, I know what you mean, Jalas. I know what that person on the ground is feeling. Either the people who used to work or the people who, who never used to work. Right now, the situation is the same across board. So, food will still be distributed. As we speak, food is being distributed in Embakasi, Ward, Village. If anybody wants food from that uh, area to go to the, to the chief's camp, I also have leaders that have, all, have, have, have assigned. Fantastic. Yes. Uh, the Soweto food distribution going on around Pataniso area, Patanisho area, and around Bahati area. Uh -huh. and, uh, and around... Uh, do we have some food central, in Choka? And around Central. Do we have uh, some food in Choka? Choka will be done on Saturday. On this Saturday? On this Saturday. This money that you're using to distribute? Uh, there's, also, there's also Upper Savannah, Phase 8. Upper Savannah. That distribution is ongoing as we speak. Uh -huh. So this food is being done uh, at intervals, but it is being done across board, across the whole constituency. And everybody may receive it. The money you are using? Yes. Is this CDF? Your personal money? Or uh, where are you getting money to distribute? Because uh, the distribution of food is not in the CDF kit. If you use CDF, then uh, you are inviting uh, the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, ESCC. Okay. So you can't use money from the CDF to handle this, this. This is a personal challenge. This is where leaders must sacrifice for their people. This is where I come in. With the little that I've been serving, with the little that I have, with some contributions from friends of mine, uh, that, that is where I get the, uh, the money from, at least to manage to purchase these foodstuffs for my constituents. Okay. But it is a sacrifice that should be done by leaders. Wow. Yes. Very good. So that we are done with that. Good. The other day, mm. you were hard commanding the, P, the C, CS Education, Bwana Magoha, to bring papers to your office. Hey, <laughs> leadership and power can get into people's heads very fast. <laughs> and it is getting in your head, Bob. Because, because, you know, whatever it is, Magoa was your VC. Mm -hmm. You understand? He was your VC. I know sometime in the past you had some differences with him. Mm -hmm. But Magoa is your elder. Is a CS. Your position does not allow you to command Magoa to bring papers to your office because number one if he brings papers to your office all students of embakasi will get a place <laughs> because you will aid the stealing of exams <laughs> what is your problem okay what is what was the whole facade around it i think jalas you ought not to have said that uh, i commanded uh, professor magoa number one professor magoa i respect him so much as a do person you now? as my vice chancellor for several years, I do respect him. Up to date, I do respect Professor Albert Magoa Omore George. Mm -hmm. I do respect him and I really like him. I know most of my uh, uh, managerial skills I learned from Professor Magoa. Okay. And uh, what Professor did uh, in the education sector is commendable. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, the fact that I told Professor Magoa to bring papers to my office. The question that you ought to have asked is that, are you capable? Are you capable? Do you have the qualifications to go through, to go through this exam? And certify that these are the right things and yes. these are the syllabuses that have been taught and these are yes. what the students should be examined in. Yes, and I want to tell you now 
that I'm overqualified even to set those exams. <coughs> not just ratifying, not just checking up those uh, uh, papers, but to set the exam papers. The best thing is, Kenyans are really struggling at this moment. And uh, exams will be set. Syllabus will be followed. But they should only, the examiners should only set what has been taught. Not something that is beyond the scope of that, of what they've been taught. Because they, will be, they may be taken into, 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 into a rush program. Yes. Whereby uh, the teachers are told to complete their syllabus within a specific period of time. Yeah, yeah. Within that time, they will rush to teach this to these so, comrades. So, so, so you, want the, you want the papers to be set from where to where? The papers should be, averagely, the Ministry of Education should know where the whole syllabus in the whole country, averagely, where they've reached. Some, some, some will be far ahead, some will be slightly behind, mm -hmm. but averagely, they need to know that this is where the syllabus has covered. For example, taking for example KCP, mm -hmm. they've been taught from class 1 to class 8. Mm -hmm. Most work covers from class 1 to class 7. Mm -hmm. Then class 8 is just a little work. Mm -hmm. When we go to KCSE, most work covers from form 1 to form 3. Mm -hmm. Then uh, just a little work, a li little questions will cover from form, will cover the, for, the fourth form. Yes. What does that tell you? Mm -hmm. That ideally, already exams should, should be, be set. set. Should be set. <laughs> you see? <laughs> So many Luos and so many people from our home area were not happy. Actually, they put your face, mine, and other people who are married out of our community. You, you are married to a Kikuyu, you are married to a Taita. Uh, why did you marry a Kikuyu woman? Uh, number one, marriage goes beyond tri uh, tribe. Okay. It is love. The power of love is stronger than the power of tribe. All right. It is love that uh, Surpass. that uh, that uh, directed me mm -hmm. uh, to my beautiful wife. Mm -hmm. Number two, my wife is a woman without an equal. Mm. Number three, my wife is a woman with the head of a man. Okay. Number four, my woman is a very responsible, very beautiful. All the positive adjectives that I know, Rob. That does not mean that all other women are, are not good, but this is the choice that I made. So that choice that I made is my choice. Everybody can make their, can make their own choice. Thank you so much. Yes. I hear you stopped drinking, has not been seen in the club, and you don't drink anymore, does not use any drug apart from water. <laughs> is it true? Yeah, 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 I don't drink. This is I from use... that night? No, 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 no. I just made a decision that this year, uh, I would not test alcohol. I tested it once. And because of that, we saw out of the occupational hazards, oh. <laughs> things happened. But, but uh, I don't drink. I no longer drink. And I will not drink alcohol ever and ever again. Are you sure? I'll just drink water. Tea. You know I'm your friend. Are you sure? Thought, like, I know. We've drank with you several in the last. <laughs> <laughs> So, so you are not touching alcohol again and again? Not at all. The only alcohol I'll touch is sanitizer. Sanitizer? Yes. All right. That is now the we only... want people to call in. Call in and ask questions. Call in. Please give them that number. Quickly, quickly. Now, kipiga simu, unongea kwa sauti. Very nice. Hello. Hey. Jana. Sema baba. I'm calling Kefan Juma. Eh, uh, uh, as a MP for a yeah. Yes. Uh, what are the measures uh, America ahead kuangalia ya kwamba youth are uh, regarding this corona? Regarding Hello? this corona, you are not asking anything, sir. You are not. Hello. What is your question? My question is, mm. what are the measures uh, Babuina America Kwangalia Yakomba youth are getting uh, at least something to put on their table? Uh, I'm talking about food. Food, food. Now, see, yeah. I'm a same at distribution ya chakula in Bakasi Nendelea. Yeah, actually, distribution is ongoing as we speak. And, okay. And uh, the food distribution is not discriminatory. Okay. We are doing it to everyone within Embakasi's constituency, the youth. The women, the old, the vulnerable in mm -hmm. the in the community, everybody is going to receive their 
uh, uh, food. Okay. Hello? 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 Where are you? Hello? Hello? Say my boy. Niko power. Power kabisa Morio. Evan Sema. Na Babu is a good leader. Thank you. And now that he's not taking alcohol anymore. He goes sour. He is neither Sema, neither neither Pada, neither Nasla, neither Jenga Taifa. Sasa awachane na pombe kabisa. Awachane na pombe na ima mbuingi na yote. Na bangi pia. Any drug, you are a good leader. Thank you so much. Hello? Hello? Jamani, Hello? Hello? Unguza TV yako bwana. Unataka kuongea na kusikia TV. Hello? Unasikia TV ama unaongea? Sema bwana. Yes, mimi naitwa Samuel bwana. Samuel ongea na mheshimiwa. Hello mheshimiwa. Niko poa Samuel, mambo vipi? Mambo poa kabisa, Mombasa imetulia tu. Shukran bro. Yeah, sasa mimi nilikuwa nauliza. Ndio. Vipi? Kiti cha ugava na utasimama? Bye. By the way, kila mtu alikuwa anaulizia kabisa. Ndio. Your 2022 plans. 2022 plans. Now what I can tell my people and the people of Kenya is that uh, as Babu Owino, I still have work, I still have a contract that I signed with the people of Embakasi's constituency. A contract to ensure that I deliver what I promised them. A contract to ensure that that Mama Mboga graduates from selling Mboga on a kiosk to selling Mboga in a supermarket. Mm -hmm. A contract to ensure that that road between Feather to Get B is constructed. A contract to ensure that water is supplied within Embakasi's constituency. Until then, I will tell people my plans. Although I'm overqualified, again, for all the positions, any elective position, I'm overqualified. Senator? Overqualified. Governor? Overqualified. President? Overqualified. Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> Take a sim. <laughs> Hello? 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 Sema bwana punguza punguza hiyo TV yako ama ni radio ama ni simu bwana. Nimepunguza. Ongea. Eh <laughs> DJ Odochi hapa. Odochi yesema. Niko nataka kusalimia mheshimiwa. Mambo bro. Habari yako mheshimiwa? Niko hivi bro, corona ndio noma lakini Mungu atatusaidia. Eh mwanzo nilikuwa nataka tu ku recommend vile umesema sisi wote si clean lakini tunashukuru vile umefanya. Ndio. Endelea tu hivyo bro. Asante bro, mungu wa kubariki. Okay. Asante sana udochi. Pige ni simu. Nachukua simu mbili. Tumalizi. Alo. Alo. Usipige ni ya airtime. Chukua airtime ya safari komi ya jowa. Alo. Halo, halo, halo. Hevi chengi papa na mweshimi wa papu wa wino. Sema bamba. Mambo bro. Hiko sawa na hivyo ilu mundo kumundo kwa na mweshimi wa. Mwembe kandi. Ie, olimu lambu papa. Ie, sasa ni kona tuwari sa papu unajua hevi chengi papa uyo chalaka na saka kusimama ufunge uko langata 2022. Ndiyo. Utamusaidia fipi ya kue pale kwa hile kiti ya lafo yo kue kafa na wana Nairobi Unaesa unaje yo kolapo mweshimiwa Iyo ni kolapo strong sana Jalasa amesha wa qualify for langata As we speak sa hizi uyo ni jamaa Jalasa mweshimiwa korona imetulemea sana unangari yako unga Jalasa ya takupea nampo tupeka hata kama ni unga Nini moja, bandri moja hii fipi mbaya mweshimiwa Nachukua namba yako sa hii na kutumia kitu hapo ununue na yo chakula Waluya na unga Waluya na unga Ok Nachukua simu ya mwisho Alo Alo Ukipiga simu naongea mapemu Naongea kwa raka Alo Sema Napiga kwa mjiwe hii From UAE, habari ya Dubai? Natukua salama. Naona mulifunguliwa town. 
Okay, sema basa raka. Asante. Yes, bro. Asante Thank you so much. All right, simu ya mwisho ama? Ya mwisho basi. Ya mwisho basi. Hello. Hello. Sema bwana. Eh, mimi ni rafiki sana ya mheshimiwa. Unaitwa nani? Naitwa Roni Mamba. Roni ah, Mamba. Roni ni mtu wangu huyo. Huyo alikuwa student leader. Huyo alikuwa student leader Kikuyu campus. Ni mtu wako na akili iko juu sana. Roni niambie. Mimi nataka tu mheshimiwa aeleze vijana inspiration yake ni nini? Sababu ametoka sini kwa slum. Na yes. kuja mpaka huku juu. Kwa hivyo ape vijana motivation hapo. Hapo iko sawa kabisa bro. Ma vijana lazima tupange kazi nao pamoja. Wewe. Wewe ni mtu wangu, kazi itapangwa kabisa. Wewe. Asante. Thank you so much guys. That was a great great session with Honorable Babu Owino. On to that camera please. Two things. Number one, number one just uh, uh, clarify to Magoa that you did not command him to bring papers. Number two, the last thing he want to tell the people of Kenya and more so the people of Ebakasi constituency. Thank you very much. I would like uh, to thank and appreciate the viewers who have taken their time uh, to, to tune in and watch our interview with uh, Jalas Munyewe. I would like to tell Kenyans that during these uh, hard times, let us be together. Let us be our brother's keepers. Let us uh, uh, love our neighbors as we love ourselves, as it says in the Bible. Let us at least work together and heed to the government's instructions to avoid uh, in infection by COVID-19. I know it is a passing cloud. As people are now saying that COVID has stopped reggae, it has not stopped it. It has just paused it. So we will still be back with the BBI. So let us be prepared. Kenyans, one love. I love you all. To Professor Magoa, you are my professor. You will still be my professor. And uh, I still insist that those papers should be brought to me, at least for verification, because I'm overqualified. It is not a command. It is not a demand, but a request. It should be brought. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Thank you so much. And until, <laughs> until next week, with this week has been late. Thank you so much, Babu. You will always be my friend. You are my brother. Thank you so much. And you know I love you so much. Asante, Keep Jalas. doing what you're doing. And we appreciate you. Asante. Asante sana. Kumbuka to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. There's no hottest YouTube channel, Facebook channel, than Boga Najalas. Thank you so much. And until next week, bye.